Yep. Yeah, and there's a feel. Yep. Or at least for me, there's a feel here of that pushing in. Yes. Eventually, that leg's gonna hurt you because you've never felt this before. Okay? Yeah. That's completely normal. I'm already getting there. <laughs> so, take a break when you want. How many times was that? I, I didn't count. Uh, I think that's eight. Okay, do two more. But remember, I want you to get off completely. Oh, both feet. Yep. Um, I want you to get off completely. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Because what happens is you're learning the wheel, you're learning the weight, you're learning everything about the wheel. All right, so do one more and then take a break. Just lean it up on the side. Yep. Perfect. So how was that? It was good. That makes sense. <laughs> I need a whole lot more practice. Exactly. Exactly. Basically, what you did was you literally just trained your leg. You see that little yeah, redness? Can... You've never felt... You're not going to feel this after you... After you get used to riding, you're not going to ever see that. Like, when I first started, I had pain everywhere. But eventually, it's going to go away. <laughs> yeah. Get back on there again, do it another 10 more times, and then after that, we'll do something else. Just remember, that leg is your support. Yeah. That's like five. Maybe six. That's six. Seven. I keep grabbing that button. I'm so sorry. That's all right. No, sorry. That's that's all in the learning process. You're learning. So what do you think now? <laughs> it's actually a workout. <laughs> it's actually funny. Yeah, man. It's a workout, bro. It is. <laughs> I didn't expect the feel. Because, like, at home, I sit on a balance board when I work. Uh-huh. And so I'm constantly, like, tipping right to left, that kind of thing. It's got, like, a ball in the middle kind of thing. And but I you're... Do, you're uh, do it for positioning. And... You're a skateboarder, right? No. Oh, you're not a skateboarder. Not a skateboarder. Oh, I'm a skateboarder okay, because okay, I'm 12 okay. years old. I only built that skateboard because I was interested in electric... Stuff, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I thought, this is it. This is going to be so cool. I've literally done 10 miles on that skateboard scared the crap out of me a few times oh wow and i'm like this isn't for me i'm selling that yeah because if you're a skateboarder i would say this is gonna this would come natural to you i'd probably jump you ahead but because i tried it once i saw a bunch of skateboarders in boston yeah they were jumping doing crazy things and they saw me riding by with my v5f and they were like what is that so i gave it to them and they were getting it well i showed them once how to do it yeah. but then after that they're on their own yeah <laughs> i think it's gonna take me longer not necessarily. I'm just saying, it's, like... It's not... I, I kind of thought it would be a little bit like snowboarding. A mm. little from the balance perspective. But not yet, anyway. All right. One minute's up. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is something different. You're trying to tilt it left, right. Left, right. Left, yep. You see how much effort that's taking? So... Left. So, no. When you when you tilt this way, this one has to come up. Oh, exactly. gotcha. Yep. Yeah. So, you got that, right? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember the lift. But... Let's start like this. Just tilt it left and right without the heel. Yeah, like that. See how it's coming naturally now? Yeah. Exactly. If I tell you to do it, you don't get it. But if you do it naturally, it yeah, happens. Yeah, you gotta feel it. Yeah. So that's it. That's it. That's all I want you to do. But when you do that, um, just just try to like get into it get into a rhythm and lower your knee a little bit and just yeah like that and just go left and right yeah yeah awesome yeah that's a workout it is a workout it's a serious workout bro you can that's why like it's a good idea to do it slowly so you don't hurt your wheel you know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of people destroy their wheels learning their, uh, how to ride an electric unicycle. If I invest in this, I've got a big field that... Oh, nice. <laughs> ...my starting home. <laughs>
So your goal, so that you know what your goal is, uh, let me set one minute timer. Um, your goal is to go from here to here and back. That's the goal. That's the first goal. Okay. So we're getting there. What do you think so far? <laughs> uh, it's a lot of unexpected things. Yeah. But I totally get why learning in this method is beneficial. Oh yeah. Very good. Very good. When you get the feel of it, let me know so I can start counting. Yeah, I think right about, that feels good, right there. Yeah. Nice, I'll start counting now. We're gonna do 20. One, two, three. Actually, I'm gonna count a one full one, one. One, two, three. You notice that if I don't push with both equally, I tend to lean towards the one I'm pushing on more. Yep. Uh, so I'm assuming that that's part of the turning process. That is part of the turning process, exactly. But the question I have is, when I push down on the left pedal, is it hooked to the right pedal so they both go down and the only reason I'm tilting left is because I, of my foot pressure and weight? Yeah. Or so, is the left pedal actually going down a little more than the right pedal? Wait, ask Are that question independent? again? No, they're not independent. Okay. No, not at all. Um, what happens is it's your weight distribution that's causing this. Okay, makes perfect sense. And remember I told you about hard mode, soft mode? Yes. So King Song, for some reason, hard mode still feels a little cushy. It shouldn't feel that way in real hard mode. Real hard mode, you shouldn't feel any pedal dip. But King Song has it for some reason. So when you shift your weight, the pedal will feel like it's tilting with King Song okay. in hard mode. And that's in hard mode. Okay. So, uh, no, the Although, pedal... to be fair, I, I am actually not noticing that. Oh, okay. I'm just feeling... I felt a couple times I pushed more with my left, and when I did the... It, it did one of these deals. Yeah. And it made me ask the question, is it doing that because of me pushing a little harder, or is it doing it no, because, it's because of that you. pedal... No, it's because of you. Okay, good to know. It's weight distribution. Okay. Remember, there's nothing governing this thing left and right except your weight. Okay. It handles 100% forwards and backwards. That's where it balances. Yep. But left and right is weight distribution. Don't go too fast. One. Two. Go all the way. I don't want you to hold the fence. I want you to hold the rail. Because it's harder. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Four. <laughs> Five. Nice, you're getting it. Oh, careful. That was the fence, me not letting go. Here. <laughs> I, I, I'm comfortable forward, and then I try to translate that backwards, and I really need to go slower. Backwards. Right, exactly, because the trick is, if you get too comfortable, you get overconfident. And what happens is, front is good, but then you try to apply that for going backwards. Yeah, breathe. Yeah. All right, so we're later in the training. The idea is, remember, speed is good, but... Um, just manage it. Good, good, good. The backwards is definitely... Well, it's... The, remember, so keep in mind, I'm not trying to get you to go backwards so you can no, learn I how know. to ride backwards. It's for balance. Yeah. It's for building your muscle. And uh, building your awareness about the wheel, too. <laughs> Oh, good. I'd be worried if you're not falling. Falling is part of the game. But you keep saving yourself, that's good. Don't get too uh, comfortable, you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Just remember to bend your knees, and it only turns where you tell it to turn. So if your muscle gets tired on this side, the other side's gonna turn, because this one's way tired, so you're gonna let up on this one. Hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to class ahead, you're going to class ahead. That's awesome, don't stop. Don't worry about me. <laughs> wow. Good, 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 good. Yes, yes, yes. So your goal now is to go from here, this Tesla, 
all the way to that bag, uh, not touching the wall at all, okay? If you touch the wall, it's not a disqualification, that's just the goal, <laughs> right? All right. Speed is balance. Speed is balance. Lean forward, lean forward. Very good, lean forward, there you go, very good. Stop right there, stop right there. Very good, very good, very good. And remember to lean forward a little bit. And use your toes. There you go, focus, focus. Don't look down like you said before. Very good, man, keep going, keep going, very good. I don't want you to come back down. Very good, very good, very good. Lean forward, lean forward, very good, man. Yeah! Woo -hoo! Slow down, slow down, slow down. Very good, stop. <laughs> yes! <laughs> very good, bro. <laughs> yes, it does, yes, it does. Very good, very good. Yes, yes, yes. You got this. Don't look down, look forward. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, I saw a foot adjustment and I was worried, but you did good, awesome, look forward, lean forward, fast as balance, you got this whole fist to yourself, bro, nice, very good, progress is made, progress is made, you even know how to stop, that's awesome, Awesome. One more. All I want you to do is put pressure on that pedal and go like this. Yep, in and out. In and out. Yep, you see that? Imagine you're being at the light and then it falls off. You need to you need to control your wheel. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, my foot being out here doesn't help. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't help. Yeah, that's much better. Much better. So do whatever is comfortable for you. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, keep it straight and push. And get up. There you go. Be careful of that pedal. Because if you're at that light, yeah. It, it doesn't have to be a big stride. It could be a little stride. But I want you to be able to push it. There you go. Because the next step is to get on. One. So that was one. Yeah. Push and, and well, first you gotta get your footing. First you gotta get your footing. Get a good one going and then lean forward. Boom, lean. Look, look straight, look straight ahead. Straight ahead, straight ahead. Very good, very good. Okay. Yeah, down the hill is tough. And you are tired, my friend. Yeah. Oh, let's take a break. Let's take a break. <laughs> yeah, 175 pounds like low. see if you had a small person who had never done it before, how the weight could be intimidating. Because that's I didn't say anything last time we did it. Right. But today it feels much more comfortable. Well, much more comfortable. And and that's that makes sense. This was your first time. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You, you but, already and you even already even conditioned those muscles. Don't forget yeah, that. I think that's a piece of it, but I also think I'm learning how to. You know how you took the wheel when you're standing? On it? Yeah. I think I'm learning the, the proper amount of pressure. Right, right, right. Body weight to counter it. Yeah. yeah, so you see what I mean? Like, right now I'm putting my foot there, mm -hmm. and that weight that I felt earlier that was dragging me down. Oh, yeah, you mean like yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. I don't feel it at all right now. I feel like this feels, I know it's not 100% right, but it feels much more comfortable, and I feel like I'm in the right spot. I should be in. Uh, mounting. Uh, the mounting, yeah. Even if I do it wrong, it feels right. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See what I mean? Girl behind yeah. you, that's it. Very good. Lean forward. See if you can. There you go. Awesome, awesome. Slow down. Let's see if you can recover. Speed up. Awesome. You got this, bro. <laughs> we got this.
much the class is done, but as a celebratory thing, what I usually do, I find a path so that you can go, because what happens is, with any learning process, in the end, you're going to need to take a long ride. Even if it's a long ride to go, come back, go, come back, go, come back, all you're doing is you're building your, your you're conditioning your muscles, but also, you're going to learn your limitations as well. You're going to learn, oh my gosh, what is this numbness? I, I didn't expect that. Yeah. You're going to get tingling. It's normal. Okay. After a while, you won't feel it. Very excited. Very excited. Let's go back down there and we're going to go for a ride bench to your back. Because that's it. That's the class. Lean forward. Lean, le knees bent. Knees bent. And look to where you want to go. Look to where you want to go. Right. And don't worry about them. Just go around her. Don't worry. Keep going. Look to where you want to go and just lean forward. Lean forward, lean forward. There you go. All right. Slow down. And stop. Awesome. How do you feel? Feel good. <laughs> feel good. We're going to keep going then. <laughs> and you're not trying to go into people, right? So don't look at them. <laughs> look to where you want to go. Look to where you want to go. Lean forward, lean forward. Lean forward, lean forward. You're doing great. You're doing great, you're doing great. You're doing great, not too fast. But then you won't be able to... Yes, exactly, but you, since you're in the learning process, I don't want you to go too fast to the point where you can't uh, bail. But so far, so good. Don't you just love that wind? <laughs> he's, he's almost there, he's almost there. He's getting... I want him to go around people because they make him nervous. Oh, reason, right? Exactly. <laughs> this is a Insta 360. Yeah. Keep going. Knees bent. Lean forward. Look where you want to go. Yeah, that's your shock, dude. No shock in there. Just the uh, 